S-U-C-C-E-S-S. Mornings lead to my success. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I end most days feeling really successful and it all starts with my morning routine, which is what I'm gonna share with you today. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. About seven years ago, I was working in a job that was leaving me at the end of each day feeling completely defeated, feeling like I wasn't able to catch up, that I was never going to be successful, and that no matter what I did, I just wasn't worthy. And fast forward to today, and that is a different story. As I said, I end most of my days feeling successful, and one of the keys to making that happen starts with my morning routine. So let's dive into that right now. I have shared my morning Ayurvedic rituals with you, and those are the things that I do when I first wake up in the morning. So be sure to check out that video. I'm gonna to link to that in the corner above and in the description below. But in today's video, I wanna share with you the routines I have in place that directly contribute to me feeling successful at the end of the day. Morning success strategy number one, start the night before. As much as this is about a morning routine, it really does begin the evening before for me. So I make sure that I carve out at least five minutes to meditate before my head meets the pillow. Why? Well, at the end of the day, I take that time to drop into my body. I tune into how I'm feeling. I feel the physical sensations of my body. I tune into my breath. And what I notice is that if I take that time to meditate before I go to sleep, I'm much more in tune with my system. I've already begun the process of slowing down and my rest becomes that much more restorative. When I meditate before I go to bed, I'm moving and shifting my body into that restorative place, that place where the parasympathetic nervous system can come online so that my body can move into that replenishment space, move into that rest and digest space instead of being online, instead of having the parasympathetic nervous system, that fight and flight nervous system be ignited when I'm first going to sleep. So that's my first tip for success is to start the night before and maybe incorporate a little meditative practice into your evening routine. Success strategy number two is create consistency in your morning and that starts with the time you wake up. If you have a consistent time that you're waking up every morning, your body begins to move into a natural rhythm for the rest of the day. Now, my wake up time these days and that I strive to be consistent with is 5.30. Now, for some people that might be 6.30, 7.30, other people, they might not feel like waking up until 9.30. It's about tuning into your natural rhythm and what's going to serve your body best. Now, my wake up time has migrated over the years and 5.30 works really well for me right now as a mom of a toddler and as somebody who owns their own business. It gives me time to move my body. It gives me time to check out my agenda for the day. And it gives me a little bit of time to myself before other people wake up, namely my little one, uh, who need my attention so that I can enter the day feeling grounded, centered, and aligned. I'm curious, do you get up at a particular time every morning? If you do, share that with us in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. The next success strategy that I incorporate into my morning is called pick three. And this is a great way to feel successful at the end of every day. What I do in the morning is I pick three non-negotiables for my day. These are three things that I commit to doing over the course of the day. Now, these aren't huge projects. These aren't massive endeavors. These are small, attainable things that I know I'm going to be able to accomplish during the day. Because at the end of the day, I want to be able to say that I have done these three things, whatever they might be. So I encourage you to, in the morning, pick your three non-negotiables for the day, and that way you're setting yourself up for success each and every day. I hope these success strategies work for you and help you feel successful and accomplished each and every day. I'd love to know how they worked out for you, so be sure to leave a comment below. 
If you would like additional support, be sure to schedule your free empowerment session with me. It's one hour, you, me, talking about the shifts you wanna make in your life. I'll include a link for you to schedule your session in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. Stay ignited out there, stay successful out there, and I will see you soon. Bye.